Hi, dear to McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. This is the second video in the Windows 7 uh, series. Uh, today we're going to take a look at file management. Um, so I'm just going to click on the start button over here and I'm going to click on computer. Or Windows button and E is another shortcut uh, for doing that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating some folders. Now on this computer I'm going to work on the local uh, disk D drive. Uh, for you in the college, your network drive, which is the safest place for you to save all of your files, um, is the L00 drive, and it's probably mapped as your X drive. Um, so look for that um, on your computer. So I'm just going to click over here, and you can see I've got my C drive and my D drive, and that's my USB stick there. Uh, it's mapped as an F drive on this particular machine. Okay, so I'm going to click on the D drive at the moment. Um, master documents is already there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. So with it selected over here on the left hand side I'm going to click on new folder and I'm going to call this um, for example uh, ICT uh, as my, and then I press enter. I type and then I press enter. Now as a subfolder of this I would like to have some other uh, work. So I'm going to create a Microsoft Word folder and a Microsoft Excel folder. So I'm going to click on New Folder and type in Word. Oops, spelled correctly. And I'm going to create another new folder and type in Excel. Okay. Um, now, within Excel, I'm going to go down into my Excel folder. I'm going to create another new folder and I'm going to call this um, Cost Sheets. And I'm also going to have another folder here called Budgets. Okay, so I have a series um, of uh, folders in there. Um, and up here shows you exactly where you are at the moment. So at the moment I'm looking at my local disk C. If I want to go down into my ICT folder, and you can see it now says local disk D, ICT. Down into Excel, and you can see it's listed up here. And down into Cost Sheets. If at any point I'd like to go back up to the ICT level, all I do is click up here where I can see ICT and that brings me back up to that level. And then I can go down into Excel and down into, for example, Cost Sheets. And this is like a crumb trail here. You can see exactly where you are within the actual structure at any point in time. And you can go to any level you want. I can go up to ICT or I can go up to the highest level, <coughs> which is your local disk D. Okay, so this is how you create the folders uh, in uh, Windows Explorer in Windows 7. Uh, I'm going to show you now how you use those within, for example, the Microsoft Excel or the Microsoft Word environment. Okay, so I'm going to leave this uh, open on my desktop and I'm going to click on Start and All Programs. I'm going to go down into Microsoft Office and I'm going to find Microsoft Excel. Um, so in here, I'm going to do um, pastry costs. Okay, so imagine this is a sheet with a whole pile of pastry costs. So I'm going to save that into um, my D drive, down into my ICT folder, um, down into uh, Excel, and then down into cost sheets. So file and save as. Now over here, I'm going to find my local disk D. I can see ICT here, so I'm going to click on that and down into Excel, double click onto Excel and double click onto Cost Sheets. And you can see the little crumb trail here. You've got di Local Disk D, ICT, Excel and Cost Sheets. I'm going to call this file. That's where I'm putting the file. This is what I'm calling the file. I'm going to call it Pastry Costs. And I'm going to type in version 1 and hit save. So you can see up here it says pastry costs version 1 and tells you you're using Microsoft Excel uh, and imagine I type in a lot more costs flour is going to cost me 2 euros or 22 euros and butter cost me 1 euro. Okay so I've done a lot more work I'd like to save this now um, so I'm going to change the name of my file so click file save as the location will stay the same. I'm quite happy with that, but I've done a lot more work and I don't want to lose anything, so I'm going to change it from 
paste your cost version one. I'm going to click just beyond that so it stops being blue. I just click beyond it. I'm going to hit my backspace key and I'm going to type in two. So paste your cost version two and save. Okay, I'd like at this point um, to save it onto my USB stick because I'm taking it home for the night. So I'm going to click on File, Save As. And every time I change the location of a file, I always change the name. Otherwise, you'll end up confusing yourself and overwriting um, a good file with a bad file or an earlier version of the file. So I'm going to choose, this is my USB stick over here. I'm going to choose my USB stick. Um, I'm going to create a new folder in here. So I just, within Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint or whatever you're working in, you can create a folder. So I'm going to click on New Folder. And for some reason it's a bit slow and I'm going to just type in uh, ICT and I always type in USB so I don't confuse myself so I know this is my USB version um, of ICT I'm going to go down into that and you can see transcend is the name of my USB and ICT USB is the folder I'm in pastry cost version 2 I've got to change that name so I don't confuse myself so it's now version 3 and hit save okay um, so, <coughs> uh, I'm going to close this file now, so file and close, and that's it closed. So you can see at this point I have Microsoft Excel open, but there's no document open within Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to close Microsoft Excel now. Um, I'm still in Windows Explorer here, a copy of it is open, and I'm down into the cost sheets uh, here, and you can see both version 1 and version 2 are listed here. Okay. Um, so let's go back up to the ICT level and move down into Microsoft Word. Um, and I'm going to create a new folder in here and type in reports. Um, is one folder and new I'll have research. Okay, so what happens if you want to move something within a folder? So first of all, I'm going to go into Microsoft Word and I'll intentionally make a mistake and file a report in the research folder and then I'll come back into Explorer and I'll move it into the correct place. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Word now. So off the start button there, all programs, Microsoft Office, if I can find it, Microsoft Office and then the blue W for Microsoft Word. So I'm going to call this um, pastry report. Okay, so I have a nice pastry report here. I'm going to save it, file, save as. I need to make sure it goes into the right location. I scroll down here, local disk D, down into ICT, down into Word. And remember, I'm intentionally filing it in the wrong place. This is a report, but I'm going to, by mistake, put it into the research folder. So this is called pastry report. Again, always put in a version number, version one, and save. So I'm going to put in um, more work. So imagine I've done two or an hour or two's worth of work and I'm going to save it now. I'm heading home for the evening. So you always go file, save as. The location is correct because we already specified it. We want to change the name from version one to version two. And this version has the additional work in it. Okay, I'm going to close Microsoft uh, Word now. Now I'm in uh, Windows Explorer, uh, local disk D, I'll go back up there again just so you can remember where I am, down into ICT, down into Word. Now the pastry reports should be in the reports folder, but the reports folder is empty. I'm going to go back up to Word and down into research um, and um, you can see these are in, these pastry reports are in the research folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the area that I want to drag them into. So over here on the left hand side, you can see these little white triangles over here. I want to see the folders underneath um, local disk D. So I click on that. I'm going to look at what's in ICT. I'm going to look at what's in Word. And you can see I've got my reports and my research folder. I'm going to select the two files here. I'm going to click on the first. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and I'm going to drag them across. So I've let go of my mouse, both of them are selected and you can tell they're selected because they're kind of light blue in colour. So I'm going to click my left mouse button, keep the button held down and I'm going to drag them across into uh, the reports folder. And there's a little tag there that says move to reports folder. That's exactly what I want. So I'm now going to let go my uh, left mouse button 
And if I look in that folder now, and you can see I'm in Word Reports, my pastry report version one and my pastry report version two are both listed in here. Um, if you want to change the name of a folder in here, all you can do is right mouse click it. So for example, um, if I wanted, instead of calling it research, I wanted to do, call it background. I can right mouse click on research and rename and I change, just retype it. I just leave it as back. Okay, so um, that's me finished showing you how to work with files and folders in Windows 7.